Hey everyone, it's springtime. And you know what springtime means? It means planting. That's right, today we are gonna start some of our seeds indoors in my little starter kit. Now, we're gonna be using these Timu starters. And if you haven't seen our video on the Timu starter sets, check this out right here. So, the seeds that we're going to be planting today are these Cherokee purple tomatoes. These, what are these? Oh, Brandywine tomatoes, and these are heirlooms, and these Black Beauty tomatoes. Now, these were a gift that somebody sent me a couple of months ago, and I just didn't, I got so busy, and then I got sick, I wasn't able to get them planted. She also sent me these Calypso cilantro. So we're going to start those. Also going to put some basil starting because uh, I really like basil in what I cook. Um, some sweet peppers, bell peppers. Uh, these are beefsteak tomatoes. Um, all of these seeds here I got over at the Dollar Tree, four for a dollar. So it was a pretty good deal. And then finally marigolds. I like to put a little bit of color in my garden. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and move these aside and we're going to get started on this. So, first thing I need to do is I need to bring in some soil. So, as you see, I've got some soil in here. Now, it looks like it's pretty dried out. So why don't we start out and let's add some water to it and let's moisten it back up. It's easier to plant and stuff like that when there's a little bit of, a little bit of water and stuff in here. All right, I'm going to use my hand just to kind of mix it around in here. Um, it's been sitting over the winter, so it, it makes it a little challenging when it's all, um, when it's all dry like this. And we're going to stir it in until we don't have any more of this dust coming out. All right, so let's put some more. Wash that hand off. All right, let's get some more. Oh, that sounds good. All right, so now I'm just going to mix this in by hand. And, uh, you know, the what I use, now, there's some people that are purists, and they use nothing but organic. Um, I am not that purist. Um, I have always had really good luck using the miracle Grow um, seed starter. Now, I don't think this is really a seed starter because I got some pretty chunky, some pretty chunky sticks and stuff in here. But all right, so it's almost stirred up well enough to get started. So add a little bit more, and all right. All right, so let's put this off to the side here. Let me put my hand in here and get it pretty much cleaned off. All right, so I gotta figure out how many of these I'm gonna get started with. So I don't know, there's probably half a dozen of these black beauties. All right, so let's start with one at a time. So let's grab the tray and this is the starter. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab by hand. I just kind of push it in there and I'm just kind of putting them down by hand as you can see. All right. And I want to get a lot of the big sticks and stuff. There's some big sticks in here that I don't really don't want in my starter. So let's go ahead and get that in there. Stuff is pretty started. Okay. So now it's, if I had a, a ruler, I could, just get the ruler and just rush it off. But I don't have a ruler, so let's go ahead and just get that, stick that into the bin. Rinse this hand off again. All right, rinse this hand off. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little stick starter here, and I'm gonna go ahead and poke some holes. All right, I'm gonna bury these about an inch in here, and uh, So this came with a kit, which is really kind of neat. Uh, I, somebody told me what this little scooper was. I think it's for when transplanting, but I'm not sure. But if 
you ever want to go play in the sand, you could do that. All right, so let me dry up a little bit. Now let's start with, let's do some brandy wines. So I'm going to open this up in here. I wish I had a little poker or one of those little dot things that I can put stuff in. But I don't. Let's wipe my hands off here and kind of get them dry. And so now I'm going to take these and I'm going to drop them off into my hand just like that. Now let's drop one or two of these into each hole. Okay. I like to do them in a line because otherwise I'll forget what I'm doing. And uh, if I forget what I'm doing, then I'll have... I think I put some in there already, but if I forget what I'm doing, I will end up with four seeds in one hole and no seeds in another. Okay, there's that. Get rid of that little stick. Let's do this here. Oh, it didn't go down there. And a couple more there. A couple more there. A couple more. Oops. They didn't come out. Now, these seeds were all um, a, these seeds here were all given to me by uh, a friend on Facebook. <laughs> Drop those on there and see what happens. All right, so now I'm just going to get my little, this little spade tool. It's kind of cool. And I'm just going to press down on here and it's going to collapse that, it's going to collapse that little um, hole that I started with that. So it's, it's already all the way at the bottom. It's very pointy. So I should have a pretty good, pretty good way to get things started. All right. So now these are pretty much done. Now I got to do one more thing before I set these aside. I need to get a little stick and I need to write down what these are. So these ones, if I recall, were brandy wines. All right, so now I can stick them like that. Now, let's say I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the top on here. Well, you see, that that little stick works just fine. I can also move the stick anywhere on the inside, just so I know. So that is how we're going to do all of these seeds. So let's put this off to the side where it's not going to get knocked off. How about on the stairs? All right. So let's go ahead and, and get the rest of these. Heat up, and I'll do a bunch of these in, in order so that I know that we have, all right, all right, so let's get those filled, fill those up, oh, I think I messed up and didn't get the right starter mix, um, this is more of a planting, potting soil, um, so I'm going to have to, before I get the rest of them started, I'm going to have to get uh, some some of the right potting soil in here. So, because um, uh, this is no bueno, guys. No bueno. Too many sticks and rocks. Or not rocks, but just sticks. Um, so, get them in there. Get some more. Yeah, a lot of sticks in here. I have enough sticks in here that I can build a fire. I can uh, use this for my emergency fire starting kit because um, uh, that's not going to cut it. All right. So there's another one. Grab two more. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough seeds to go into the uh, into all these, which isn't a big deal. Uh, if I don't plant one of these, it's not going to be a big deal. So anyway, stick that there. And one more. Oh, yes, and I did get some more kindling. So, all right, so I think I've got enough to get started. If I need to add a little more soil at the end, 
I will, but I think I'm good. Let's just take all the all that out. Now, let me move this out of the way. Ooh. Rinse off the hands again. You know, next time I do this, maybe I'll get a towel because this does, I, I got a towel over here. All right. So, some of you may have not have seen uh, my little greenhouse here. Well, it's not really a greenhouse, okay? What this area is, is a swimming pool. But I've got windows on all three sides of this swimming pool, and it's very nice in here. It's probably, I don't know, 30 degrees outside and in here. I have no heat whatsoever going on in here. The swimming pool's heated, but there's no heat in this room. And we're probably sitting at, uh, oh, so 65. So anyway, very nice and warm. I get pretty much morning sun in here, but on the other side of the pool area, I have where I started my grapes from cuttings. And when we're done here, I'm gonna go over and show you those because I'm excited that you can cut a stick, stick it in the ground and it'll grow. I'm new to all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, all right, so what are we gonna plant next? So why don't we plant some peppers? So, now most of these plants that I'm planting are going to stay here inside the greenhouse. And I'm gonna put them into large pots so I can continually harvest, harvest them um, all year. Because um, it's nice to get, get fruits and vegetables um, all year. Oh, let's see, that's not working too well. Um, and I love, I love peppers, I love tomatoes, onions, uh, but I'm not doing any. Okay, there's a tree. I'm not planting trees in here, so. Yeah, let's put that in there, let's take that tree out. All right, so now I haven't seen inside of these uh, 25 cent seeds. I might have one seed in here, which may not make it a good deal. So, but let's see. Wow. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, oh, my little hole fell. Everything fell into my hole. Nine, put that down there. 10, 11, I have 12 seeds. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and for, for good luck, I'm just gonna add these seeds, kind of like whatever. So, all right, so now I'm just gonna, um, Fill these in, take the sticks out, and so now those are in there. All right, now these weren't very wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them up here so I can water them before I go. All right, oh, almost forgot, almost forgot. These are peppers, but what kind of? These are sweet peppers. All right. We got sweet peppers, yay. All right, put that up there because I still have to water those. All right, let's take this one here. Let's put some holes, holes. And what are we gonna grow next? What do you think we should plant? Um, I think we are going to plant, let's take that out. We're gonna plant, we're gonna plant basil. All right, let's see how many seeds I have of basil. All right, let's see what I'm gonna plant still. I'm gonna, I wanna plant tomatoes there, tomatoes there. Ooh, cilantro or marigold. Let's put marigolds, I like marigolds, they're pretty. So, all right, let's open up the basil. How many basils do we have? We have, we have, oh wow, these are really little teeny tiny seeds. So that's how many basils we have, not not the dirt over there, but this little pile. So let's just kind of sprinkle a couple in there, in there, in there. Um, I don't know, there's probably five or six of these going into each hole. Um, 
and then I'm just going to kind of divvy them up like that. All right, since these ones aren't pretty wet, I'm going to go ahead and water these as well. Um, and again, these, these are going to go right onto, uh, when I get these, they'll start growing. I'm going to pop them out, and these are going to go into a larger, um, like a two foot by six inch um, um, container, and I'm going to put it on the rail, very similar to this rail here. And so um, you've seen them, they go on decks and everything. So, so anyway, one more thing we got to, we are going to write down. Italian basil. All right. We are moving along here. Look at this. Well, let's put it that way. Let's turn it that way so you can see it. All right. Marigolds. Ooh, let's get the marigolds going. All right. So push it in and holes. Oh, that didn't go very deep. Look at another tree. Trees, trees. Another tree. Oh, this is really crappy stuff. I will definitely not get in this for the rest of my my planting. Maybe when I transplant, this will be fine. But um, I need some good good seeds. Are good. I need some good soil for my starters. Oh look, these are little thistles. They're like, oh hi, I'm a little thistle. All right, we're, all right so let's put that in there there oops that didn't get in there and you know what i don't even know if this is how you do it um, i've never planted marigolds from the beginning so i'm just gonna plop these seeds in there and uh and see how it works because you no know, What's, what, what's, the, what's the worst thing that happens is, is that they don't grow. Let's grab a little bit of soil from somewhere. Drop it in there. Yeah, I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, some people get so obsessed on, on their gardens. And, you know, it, most of these plants that I'm planting right now are going to require transplanting. And I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... Uh, take them out of here and put them into something else. And once I transplant them, I'm going to end up with, I'm going to end up with, um, with having to thin these out. So that's, that's the thing that people will kind of freak out. Like that it did, isn't it perfect? Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, because being perfect is not going to work. Let's see. Marigold. All right. There we go. Mm. So what do you think is going to grow the first? Which ones do you think is going to pop up first? Leave me a message in the links below, and I will, I will comment to everything. Always, I always answer my, my questions. Even if you're rude, I always ask, answer the questions because you took the time to leave me a message. I'm going to take the time to respond back. Now, if you're rude to me, I may just say, thanks. Let's add some more dirt there. Not some trees. I don't need trees. Okay. Okay. Now, what do we have here? We have a little rock. Look, that's a little rock. Huh. All right. Tomatoes. Beefsteak tomatoes. My favorite. I love having these on sandwiches. The problem is, is most beefsteaks get um, too much water and they start to exp expand. Oh, look, look at these little baby seeds. Oh, hi, little baby seeds. So, all right, so, boom, there's one. Oh, come on, let go. There we go. Yeah, like I said, don't worry if you, you drop a couple seeds, like you're not, oh, like I put three seeds in that one. Um, let me turn this. Get this one again. Because if you put seeds in here and 
and you end up with too many seeds, then uh, you know what? They just, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. If this one doesn't grow or this one doesn't grow, I can tell you that you're probably over planting anyway. You're, you're planting too many, many seeds. I, could, I, I got a great story for you. I lived in Tennessee for a couple of years and we decided I never lived back east uh, before this. And I was growing, I wanted to grow some tomatoes. Well, out here in the west, if you want five tomatoes, you, grant, you plant 10 or 15. Um, so if you, so, you know, that was my experience. So I decided to rototill this area above the um, septic area, the septic tank, and I wanted to grow some tomatoes. And during that time, I, I plowed this stuff up. I went and got 50 plants. I spaced them correctly. Uh, nice, big, straight, beautiful rows. And huh, 50 of them grew. Do you know how many tomatoes you can get from 50 tomato plants? They were, I don't know, this high, three and a half foot tall. They were, I don't know, this big around, which is pretty big around. Um, so I was completely freaked out, completely freaked out. So we had tomatoes for our friends, family, um, you know, people that we didn't like. We dropped off tomatoes. Um, there was just so many tomatoes. And to this day, it's, I, I kind of, I relish in the fact that I had so many tomatoes that I could never, ever eat. Um, so, oh, we're planting here. So let me get back to this. These are Black Beauty tomatoes. Never grown these. These are heirloom tomatoes. I've never grown these. Um, and it looks like I'll have enough maybe for one side of a tray. But that's okay because over here I've got some Cherokee purples I'm going to add to the mix. Um, again, this lady sent me these um, because I'm a disabled veteran. And, and I told her, hey, I'm having a hard time finding seeds to grow. Um, and if anybody had some they would share, I would be gratefully appreciated. And oh, I'm so grateful. Um, you know, I don't, I don't use my disability as a crutch. Um, things happen in life, and this just proves that anybody could go out and, and do this. Uh, if I was in a wheelchair today, I would definitely be growing in a wheelchair. Um, I, I just love, I love growing. I love, I love doing different things. Um, now, a recent study was taking place that um, found that most disabled veterans, a lot of disabled veterans who have PTSD can, can uh, um, find comfort and relief in gardening. And so it's an amazing, it's an amazing um, tool for, for those that really want to focus on something and, and uh, let me write this in because I can't speak and spell at the same time. All right, so I'm going to put that here. And see, these are all different. So this is the whole thing. This is the middle. So I'll put the other one right here. All right, so, um, oh, those aren't Cherokee purples. Those are going to be here. These ones are black beauties. Thank you. I know somebody's going, hey, you put the wrong tomatoes in the wrong spot. I'd have figured it out. See. I would have figured it out. But see, that's what happens when I get talking and not thinking. So maybe not the disease process. But all right, so now we've got very few of these Cherokee purples. If anybody ever had these, um, I think they're a darker and a purple color. Um, I wonder what they taste like, though. Um, very interested in... Uh, in, in hearing what everybody thinks about about these. Um, but either way, um, if they grow or they don't grow, I'm still so very grateful. Um, I'm grateful that I can be out here today in the greenhouse where it's nice and, oops, dropping seeds everywhere. If I put it in the hole, maybe it'll grow. Um, 
So I'm out here, and it's a, it's a wonderful place uh, for me to come and just uh, be comfortable. So I'm, I am just having a great time. I've got air in my breath. Um, you know, like I said, I just got over being sick. Um, so Cherokee purple. All right. So now what else are we going to grow? <gasps> we don't have anything else to grow. All right. At least not for now. Now, I give it another month and month and a half towards the middle uh, or end of, of May, um, of, of March. And I will definitely be doing, I will definitely be doing all of the, uh, all of the planting for the garden. So um, let me grab a tray. Let me see. There's a tray. I'm just going to use this for watering right now because uh, if I put this in here, and I'm just going to water and I'm going to pull them out. Um, you can use this big waterer. Um, You don't want to add too much water, especially if the if that soil is dry. Because what will happen is your seeds will pluck right to the top. Oh, let's go right here. The other thing you can do, if you've got a bottle of water, you can um, get a small um, pointy thing. It could be a drill bit. It can be a, a knife. Don't cut yourself. And just punch a bunch of little holes in here. And you can use it to squirt and, and get those... Uh, Get that water in there so all right so i'm gonna set these off to the side i may come back and add some more water but at this point add some water you see how i'm just adding just enough to the top because if you add too much and they're dry um you'll come back out here later and your seeds will be laying on top and that's totally not cool if your seeds pop to the top after you do this, just get your little poker, poke them right back down, and start over. No harm, no foul. They're just seeds. Um, people ask me where I buy my seeds. Well, there's a lot of places I buy my seeds. Typically, typically for me, it's going to be wherever or whoever sends the first the first seed catalogs no not really I'm just kidding um, so I like to get my seeds at <coughs> burpees um, there's a couple other seed companies I can't think of right away but um, if I was going to grow a large garden I would definitely go to a, a seed store a seed and feed store and they sell stuff by the bulk you can go in and you can buy seeds by the pound. Um, obviously, these aren't by the pound. To get a pound of these seeds, it would probably be maybe a hundred of these packets. I mean, there's the seeds are so small. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to go over here and show you my grapes that are starting to grow. I'm very excited for that. So uh, follow me. Now, isn't this exciting? I've got this little fella right here. Look at that guy. That is pretty amazing that I stuck a stick in some dirt and they started to grow. I've got, if you look over here, I've got one little one starting to grow right here. And I got another little one growing right here. I am so very excited that this is starting to work. So while we're here, everybody remembers where the grapevine was. Remember that video I did about growing garlic in the winter? Okay, this is where it is. Look at all of the garlic starting to sprout. Well, I'll tell you what, it's... Uh, it's the middle of February, and it is uh, like, wow, is this stuff really going to survive? Well, they say it's supposed to, but all right, well, everybody. Oh, hey, everybody. Okay, so that is the video for today. I appreciate you staying with me. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, planting, 
just keep staying with me because I've got a bunch of stuff to do in the garden and I'm very excited about what's going to come up. Thank you. If you like what we're doing, subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Take it easy.